Hey YouTube, so what you're looking at right now is the computer that I use as my private file server here at my house. It's an HP Pavilion 512W from the XP era. And um, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, oh, as you guys know, XP support is ending in six days. On April 8th. And a lot of you guys might be wondering, what do I do at that point? Because a lot of you guys may either use XP as your main operating system still, or you use it regularly like I do with this file server here. Well, um, just to clear some things up, the end of support does not mean that you can't use XP anymore. You can still use it, still install it, all that stuff. It just means that it won't be supported by security updates anymore. So what that means is that basically if you're using it as either your main operating system or something like a file server, then you definitely want it to be supported. So what do you do? Well, um, there's a little known operating system that's made by Microsoft called POS Ready. Oh, Windows Embedded POS Ready 2009. Now, what's so special about that? Um, well, basically, it's a version of XP that was released in, well, 2009. And it's essentially a scaled-down version of XP Pro. Um, they basically took XP Pro with SP3 and took some things out of it. And it's POS Ready 2009. I mean, but the awesome thing about it is it's supported by Microsoft until 2019. So, yeah, basically, I mean, it's scaled down at first, but if you have an installation of Windows XP on any of your computers, you can easily just take some stuff off of it and put it on POS Ready, and it's essentially XP, but supported until 2019. So, I thought in this video I'd show you guys a little bit about it on this computer here so let me put the camera on the tripod and I'll boot up the computer as you can see there it's well, pretty much XP. Um, really nothing changed except for the title and some things were taken out. Like the games, the help files, and Windows Movie Maker and stuff like that. But I mean, yeah, it's essentially XP or even run everything XP can, including the exclusive XP titles like Plus. So that is pretty awesome. Yep, same old title screen and everything. Actually, at first, it's got the more professional style login screen, and you, where you, um, that's more like the old style Windows where you have to enter your username and password. But you can actually change it to be the traditional login screen, like in the regular XP. Um, I don't know if you could hear it there because my speakers were turned down, but it's even got the same startup sound and everything. So it's, yep, it's XP. And I don't want to have a soft down here, but that's because it's, this is a file, so I really don't want to worry about that. Um, so yeah, let me show you around a little bit. I'm really not much to show, though. It's it's XP, I mean, that you all know and love. Um, as you can see right now, I've got the Luna theme installed, just what they call the XP theme. But actually, when you first install it, it's got a brand new theme. Um, it's called the POS Ready theme. Um, the best way I can describe it is, you know, remember Windows Media Center, Windows XP Media Center Edition? Well, it's, it looks a lot like that, the theme that came with that. But using an XP installation, you can easily copy the files for the Luna theme as well as other programs and stuff, and, yeah, it becomes XP. So anyway, um, here's what I have on, here's what comes with it. Um, since this is my file, sir, I obviously didn't have, put much on here, but I did put everything that it allowed me to. So I'm going to show you what that's like. It does include Windows Media Player, which is nice, and it's Media Player 11, which is very nice, and it's also an upgraded version of IE, if you use that. Um, yeah, so as you can see, you can actually add accessibility if you want. I didn't do that. Um, you got your communications tools there, your system tools, you know, again, just very basic stuff. It's your calculator, clip void view, notepad, paint, Windows Explorer, WordPad. Yeah, so as you can see, no games, no movie maker, not none of that, just just the basics. So anyway, gotta go into the 
proper ether. Okay, yep, here it is. Microsoft Windows and Beta PR32009. Service Pack 3, as you can see there. Um, so, yeah, there really isn't much more to show about it. It's essentially XP. Um, but what I am going to show off is just, just a little proof that it is indeed based on Windows XP Professional. Let's go to, uh, go to the command prompt here. Well, first of all, let me show out the Winver. Yep, Windows and Made PO3 2009. And now let's go to the command line. I want to show you guys something. So let's go into command here. CMD. And let's do ver. Yep, as you can see there, Windows XP version 5.1.2.6. So yeah, it's it's XP. But scaled down and made better. And even with the stuff added. Like, um, this isn't my main XP machine, obviously. It's just my file server. But on my main XP machine... I used an add-on pack that I made to add all the stuff back to it, you know, Windows Media Player, I mean, Windows Movie Maker, you know, the games, um, all that stuff. And even with all that stuff added back, you know, the wallpapers, everything, it, it still runs a lot better than XP did, in my opinion. And that's probably because, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, even with that stuff added back, it's still really scaled down and it runs a lot better than XP did, so... Yeah, guys, in conclusion, um, I would definitely recommend this. If you use XP as your main computer, you maybe you know someone who uses it as their main operating system still, or if you just use it on a regular basis on another com older computer you have, I would definitely recommend this. Now, it's not free, as you can imagine. It, does, it will cost you, but I'm going to put the link in the description. To the, from the official Microsoft website, you can actually download an ISO of this that um, gives you a 150 day evaluation. And what's nice about it too is it doesn't have activation. So using that evaluation, see, you can actually install on as many computers as you want. And you'll be able to use it for 150 days. And after that, you will have to buy it. Um, unfortunately, since it's a Windows embedded product, it's a lot harder to find. Because, you know, obviously they didn't sell it in stores or anything. But with a little searching, I, I'm sure you guys can find a copy. Um, but you got the 150 days to start out with. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend installing the evaluation CD and trying it out. It, it runs very nicely and it's supported until 2019. So, yep, that was just a quick little video. I thought I'd show you guys this. And, yep, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yep, because you can see there, guys, it's installing updates, and it will continue to install updates for the next five years. So, yep, definitely download this free stuff and try it out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.